Hello everyone and welcome back. This video I will make the DRO for my lace. Actually not make, install DRO for my lace. Uh, this one I think is the cheapest possible solution uh, from China. Uh, it's the DRO with magnetic sensors for uh, magnetic scales. There is a lot of pros and cons uh, according to the type of the DRO and type of the rollers, uh, but I will st stop on exactly this one. One reason is the price. I bought it for less than a hundred bucks. And uh, another one is uh, the size of the sensors. So with these sensors, I could install them almost everywhere. Uh, it's a very important question when you have a small machine like this one. Uh, the size of sensors and uh, scales. One of the sensors I will install in front of compound, somewhere over here. Uh, it's not a perfect uh, position, of course, for the sensor, so much better to install it uh, on the back side. Uh, but exactly my model of the lace has uh, these screws, and before because of them, it basically has uh, no place there at all. Um, I was thinking several times uh, how to build everything over here, uh, but I couldn't find uh, the good solution. Uh, so the first sensor for the compound will be over here. And the second sensor uh, will be, of course, on the back of the lace. As these are magnetic scale, <laughs> all the chips could uh, be on the scale itself and could destroy it. So I would uh, like to protect them uh, with uh, some kind of aluminum cover. So the scale will be here under the cover and the sensor will be from the bottom. So the scale itself will be over here. Uh, now I will prepare the uh, scales for uh, the compound and for uh, the carriage that uh, I will uh, install on the back of the lace. Next point is the mounting holes. Now I have both house and stand. I will try to use again my M3 screws that I have quite a lot of them. Um, should be possible to mount, so I will put the screw and then with the screwdriver just screw it down or another hole. Uh, and at this point, I will need to uh, glue the magnetic type inside. It will be glued over here on the all lengths of the housing. And on the top of the magnetic type will be the uh, metal protection. So something like that at the end. Moving forward, I want to find a good position for the display and the best, I think, for me is somewhere over here. So it's 
it really will be visible and comfortable to read uh, all the information from it. Uh, so I will need some bracket to mount it. Uh, this open bag because here I have the batteries as for the reserve power uh, when device is turned off. Uh, so I will print something. Just a little bit of drawing and already in the printer and preparing to be mounted to the legs. And while it's printing I'm working on the mounting points for the sensor. So it should be mounted over here. Oh, this way, this way. So like this. Uh, the holes are already drilled and I need just to do the thread there. Now I will try to mount it, just with screws and washers. Good. Will be something like this with the sensor and here will be the scale. The clearance should be also good. It uh, could be from uh, one till four millimeters uh, they recommend uh, 1.5 millimeters of the clearance uh, they're exactly uh, 1.5 between 1.5 and 2 millimeters so it should be good now i'm looking for the position of the scale it will be mounted something like this definitely um, and i did a small test so configured and uh, everything on uh, uh, this DRO and I would say that uh, it's showing, it's showing the correct results so I have zero here, have zero over here and I have zero here and I'm moving 25 here, here I have 28 and here I have near uh, 12 so and these are correct measurements because uh, uh, this uh, limb and the row set up to show um, values on the diameter so not uh, on the side so they shown uh, two times more I'm moving to one and I have one here and 50 over here so I would say that uh, all this setup should work I will measure where the screws should be and drill the holes now for the uh, for this scale now a small test I have zero over here zero on the DRO and zero over here I'm moving one millimeter. I have exactly one on the DRO and 50 on the micrometer. It's more or less accurate. I found the position for the scale. It was not really easy to set up uh, the DRO. Uh, entire manual is on the Chinese language, it's, uh, <laughs> it's terrible, uh, but I found a way for the translation. Uh, so this will be the setup for the scale on the compound. 
and the next step is uh, actually drill the holes for the screws over here and mount the scale. Yes, I'm doing something terribly wrong. I'm drilling it with this. While I'm mounting scales, the box is almost done. And next will be the mounting of the display. I will mount it directly on top of uh, the sticker, so somewhere over here. And now I need to find the mounting point. Something like this. Time to mount all together. It's almost all the parts, almost because uh, I will still need to do something with uh, the primary scale, with the big scale over here. For that, uh, to mount it, of course, I will need to disassemble the laser a little bit, so I will need to remove this part very likely to have more access there uh, build some bracket uh, that i will mount over here and uh, with which uh, sensor will be mounted and then mount everything also for the second scale the first scale will be already on the lace as well as this part Maybe I would need to start from the big scale, but I was thinking that um, this one, small, will be more difficult to do. But it's what it looks like. Also this power supply, it shouldn't be like it is now, so with this external one, uh, I will mount this block inside the lace, um, that it's switched on together with the lace. When I'm switching on lace, uh, this DRO will also switch on. Okay. I could press the buttons, so that means that's everything fine. This scale goes over here. Not a scale, sensor. I'm already have a screws here, so it shouldn't be a very big deal. Now before the next step with the mounting of the primary scale, I will do some cable management. I want to have these cables um, somehow accurately moving behind the lace and behind the carriage and for that I was printed uh, these parts for the cable chain. I'll try to put them together and uh, put on the cables and let's see how it goes.
here it is it will be mounted somewhere on the bottom it's movable so i could do a rotation like so for example it's mounted over here and here it stays with the sensors so when i'm moving it will follow and hold the cables together and when i'm moving back it just go on this side uh, i'll probably need it a little bit longer i'm still printing the second part so it is how it goes to have better access to the machine from the back i removed the cover and the scale should be somewhere over here so i will align it that it's uh, horizontally to the um, rails and we'll mount it right over here. Now the second scale in its place, and I need to find a good position for the sensor. Uh, this sensor should be somewhere over here, in a way that uh, cable going down, like this, and it's under the scale. Uh, here I will need to build some bracket, that sensor is uh, connected with uh, the carriage. Very likely that I will print this bracket. Also I want to uh, print the small protection over here uh, to cover uh, the screw and um, all these rails uh, when the carriage completely uh, this side. I don't know why it's not existing on this machine but it's not something difficult to make. Uh, the cable management inside this uh, Chinese lace is just amazing. <laughs> it's just a pack of cables inside this storage and that's it. So I found a place where I could uh, put the power supply for the DRO, it will lie down just over there. Also I found where I could connect it. I will connect it directly to the switch from the uh, um, front side of the lace. And then 12 volts uh, goes to the uh, uh, DRO itself. Also, I found where I could put this cable to go outside. I think somewhere over here where the engine cables are going out. Um, also, I was removed uh, one more thing from the lace. It's this one switch. I'm not using it anyway, so I don't use the cover. I don't use the switch. And because of that, I have a little bit more space here and exact the space where I could put the power supply. Um, maybe it's not really safe to work without the uh, cover, but for me it's more comfortable. Also, as a result of uh, removing the uh, cover, I will need to cover somehow these holes. I couldn't use them for the cables because they are uh, very near to the chuck, but uh, I will need to cover them. Now I have the uh, power supply mounted inside. Also have a small hole uh, for the cable. So I could close it. And next I will uh, prepare the holes for these two brackets. One for uh, the sensor and second one uh, to cover these rails. For this one bracket I'm already drilled the holes, so I will need just mount it over there. And for this one I will do two holes over here. But before that I will close this one. So all these cables just go there inside. 
it is exactly how this lace was assembled. I'm not really like it, but this is what it is. Now this bracket. This sensor will stay over here. Uh, cable then move something like this and back. And the cable will be connected from over here. I'll mount the sensor right now. Uh, is these screws. They should be good. Here it is. Should it work? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, just two things left. So two holes over here to mount this one and one hole somewhere over here to mount the cable. That cable is not playing and uh, I, I will not damage the cable when I'm moving the carriage. These holes I will close just with aluminum foil. They are anyway covered with the uh, lace cover, so it should be okay. The last one point before mounting uh, the cover, uh, mount the holder for the chain, for the cable chain over here. It's two pieces part. One part is the part of the chain and the second one part will be mounted directly to the lace. I'll start from this one. Here it is, everything I already mounted and now the cover for the lace, back cover. <laughs> 